Did you know that the Panacast 50 VBS, Jabra's Android-based video collaboration solution, now supports BYOD? Now I know you're wondering, why would I even need BYOD in a room where I've already put a full meeting room solution like Teams rooms or Zoom rooms? Well, great question. And the answer is, what if you bring your own laptop into that room and you're running a Google Meet meeting or some other type of meeting room meeting, or maybe you just want to join from your own account instead of the room account, but you don't want to sacrifice the in-room display and that premium audio and video capabilities on your Panacast 50 VBS that you've already invested in. That's where you need BYOD. Now, enabling BYOD in the meeting room couldn't be more simple. From the device's admin menu, simply go to the system tab, click on the bring your own device option up top, and then toggle on the enable BYOD setting. With BYOD enabled in the room, we connect the HDMI cable. This will let the in-room display reflect what is on our laptop. Then we take the USB cable and plug it in. Our in-room display lets us know that we can start the BYOD session on the touch controller. On the touch controller itself, it reflects that we are about to start a BYOD session. We click start. With the BYOD session started, we now have control over our camera on the touch controller. Panoramic view, that 180 degree field of view, gives us pan, tilt, and zoom controls, as well as our mute, unmute, and speaker volume. Intelligent zoom controls our camera angles for us. With our BYOD session started, I now have access to the Panacast 50 VBS camera, mics, and speakers from whichever meeting I choose. Obviously, right now, I am choosing a Teams meeting from my own account. But when I switch to the VBS for my camera, and we already have it set up in our audio settings, Intelligent Zoom kicks in. We're now using the camera at the front of the room, and I can join my meeting. And again, if I wanted to change from the Intelligent Zoom to the panoramic view mid-meeting, I can do that as well and give you a full view of my somewhat cluttered office. Finally, when we're done with our meeting, we will hit end BYOD on the touch controller, hit confirm, and the device goes right back to being a Teams rooms or Zoom room. So if you weren't aware that the Panacast 50 VBS now supports BYOD with the latest value pack upgrade, well now you know.